له دعوة الحق Over the last 30 years, in about uh, 50 mosque projects, five zero. Mashallah. In, in all over, mainly in the UK. Okay, a few outside. When you build the mosque, that uh, Allah Subhanahu wa Taala builds a house for you in the paradise. I, I'm not a perfect person. I go astray. I make mistakes, and I go things do things wrong. But I always feel that Allah Subhanahu wa Taala, Allah Subhanahu wa Taala, is pulling me back and bringing me back onto that straight path. And I think this is part of the uh, reward for building mosques that. Uh, when I go astray, then I'm guided back to the straight path. Allahumma thabbithum ala al-eeman warzuqhum a'la al-jinan kama razaqtahum hidayat al-Qur'an Bil-Qur'an, ihtaday. Bil-Qur'an, ihtaday Fi rahmihi, tahlu al-hayan Shawqan ila al-Mawla hatay Aslamtu roo نور الحنايا والطلوح لله أعلى الرجوع آياته تغدو شموع ويفيض في قلبي سنا نور الحنايا والطلوح لله أعلى My name is Mark Andrew Bonham. Um, I've been a Muslim for just over 30 years. Uh, I'm 57 years of age. I was born in Birmingham in the UK. Um, I live and work still in Birmingham. Um, I use the name Akram. Muhandis Mi'mari Sammama Masjidan Qabla Islamihi Fi Madinat Birmingham Qara Al-Qur'an Kullah Qabla An Muslim. قبل الإسلام ما هي الديانة التي كنت تعتنقها ماذا كنت تعتقد في الديانات أصلا؟ I was um, brought up as a Roman Catholic and I was a practicing Catholic. Mm. Uh, I used to church, attend the church every Sunday, so I never missed. So I was, I was a committed Christian. كنت تعرف شيء عن الإسلام؟ Not at all. No, I, I couldn't give you. I would have given you. I would have given you no idea the difference between a Hindu, a Muslim, a Buddhist. I really didn't know at all. I know about Christianity, a little bit about Judaism, but I didn't know anything about other religions. I did a degree in architecture at Birmingham School of Architecture, and then I've been working as, uh, in architectural practices ever since. Um, I then uh, worked for an architectural company not very far from here. I had my own company until about six years ago, and then uh, I joined this Catalyst where we are now. <laughs> المكان ما شاء الله الجميل ما هذا المكان ما ما هو عملك في هذا المكان over 100 years ago this was a jewelry workshop which is why we have the two lots of windows so they could have lines of people with the light so it's facing the north so you don't get the sunlight so they could work on the jewelry but um, as you know the jewelry trade is no longer in the UK we sell the jewelry here but we don't make it anymore so now this office is architectural practice and we work on mosque Islamic centers, but we do sure. other things as well, schools, offices, housing. So it's, uh, and my role is uh, as a head of the architectural department. Zumala Amalihi in Malaysia, Kana Lahum Dorum Kabirum Fitarufihi Al Islam. And they used to work for me when I had my own company. They used to work in my office. And uh, I was invited to design a mosque in Birmingham. And I spent time to find out, um, first of all, I had no idea what a mosque was or what happened inside a mosque. So I spent time with the, with the people there to find out. And they gave me books to read. Um, one of the books which I have here is Islam in Focus. Yeah, mashallah. Um, I read the Yusuf Ali translation of the Quran and I read, read this in its entirety. استمر أكرم عامين يقرأ بهذين الكتابين ليجد سبب يجعل لا يدخل في الإسلام. فوجد نفسه مقتنعا بهذا الإسلام. When I picked up the Quran, 
and I just felt that it was a very comprehensive that uh, everything is in the Quran that uh, what a question you want to ask or what guidance you need if you look carefully you can find it in the Quran some some things are very easy to understand and very obvious some things you understand with explanation with help you can read translators notes or you ask a scholar or imam to explain to you and some things the Quran you will never understand it's completely different to reading the Bible or other religious books I mean it's the the real revealed word of Allah so it is unique and special um, I don't know if I'm expressing myself very well here but every time you have a problem or difficulty then inshallah you can go back to the Quran and you can find guidance there The, the first surah, I think everyone who picks up uh, a, a Quran or the translation of Quran, inevitably the Fatiha is the first surah that you read. And I think the very significant line that I read was um, Surah al Mustaqim, is about the straight path and about taking a straight line, avoiding deviations from one way or to the other. Qara al Quran kullahu qabla Islam. فوجد القرآن يجيب على كل تساؤلاته وتأثر كثيرا بسورة الكافرون. Everything I wanted to know is in the Quran. Um, if I just read the translation of Surah Al Kafirun, those right. who reject faith. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Say, O ye that reject faith, I worship not that which ye worship, nor will ye worship that which I worship. And I will not worship that which ye have been wont to worship, nor will ye worship that which I worship. To you be your way and to me mine. The thing that impressed me was until you get to the very last ayat, it sounds very uncompromising and very um, confrontational. But then the balance comes in the last ayat. And I read the translator's note. It said, um, it defines the right attitude to those who reject faith. In matters of truth, we can make no compromise. There is no need to persecute or abuse anyone for his faith or belief. This was a really, really important message to me. And this is one of the things that uh, made me realize that Islam is, is, the, is the right way. That is what I have to do. Allah Akbar. Allah Akbar. Obviously, I used to be a, a normal person living in the UK. I used, to, I used to drink, go to pubs with my friends and things like that. Um, for a couple of years before I, um, I started to find out about Islam, I change my habits gradually. أريدك أن أن تخبرنا ب بأجمل لحظة في حياتك وأهم لحظة وأعظم لحظة وهي لحظة نطقك الشهادة. متى كانت وكيف كانت وكيف كان شعورك؟ I went to see my friend one evening. Um, and he was in his living room, and he had the engine of his Honda car in the living room because <laughs> he was making some repairs to his car. نعم ما شاء الله. And I said I've read the uh, translation of the Quran and I've read the uh, Islam in Focus. And I can't find any areas of disagreement. I just think, you know, everything is right. He said, in that case, you're already a Muslim. Do you want to take your Shahada? Allah. And I did it there and then with the engine of the car in the room. No, <laughs> so, and then the next morning we had a celebration uh, to celebrate that. But it was a very special time. No, <laughs> الإسلام العظيم دين مقنع مرن لا يحتوي على أي تناقضات هذا الإسلام صالح لكل زمان ومكان هو ليس فقط للعرب ولا لأصحاب المهم فقط ولا للأغنياء فقط ولا للفقراء فقط بل هو لعامة الناس When I became Muslim I had already completed my studies uh, I was working in the field that I'm working now I was working on the design and building of a new masjid and it was at that time when I actually took my shahada and I think that more than anything it was the um, totality of the Quran and of Islam as a complete way of life which is what I found so appealing and, and still do today I mean it's, it was nothing left out but Christianity I found difficult there were various conflicts things that I, I couldn't reconcile 
I didn't find anything like that at all in Islam. <laughs> التحول إلى الإسلام يحتاج إلى صبر في بداية الأمر وخاصة هنا في المجتمع الغربي فالمهندس أكرم واجه صعوبة كبيرة جدا في التأقلم مع أهله حتى يسر الله سبحانه وتعالى له ذلك It sounds strange, it sounds like jumping off a cliff You don't know what's going to happen Inshallah you put your trust in Allah and Alhamdulillah it's okay I just felt like this, it just you just take this step and you don't know where you're going to. No, no. And I have one son from that first marriage. Um, I tried to stay with the, my wife and my young son, but it came to a Ramadan and I knew that if I stayed there, I was not going to be able to fast for Ramadan because it was very difficult. And I was far away from Muslims. I was living in a place called Litchfield, which is about 20 miles out of Birmingham. And I thought the pressures of that, it was too difficult and it was a very difficult decision to leave my wife and my son and to be on my own. Um, Alhamdulillah, I got support from the brothers that, I was, that were around me that I was working with. Um, not long after that, um, I travelled back to Malaysia and uh, I married the sister of my close friend. ساهم المهندس أكرم في بناء أكثر من خمسين مسجد ما شاء الله تبارك الله. فطلبنا منه أن نصور في أحد تلك المساجد التي بناها. فأخذنا إلى المسجد الذي صلى فيه أول صلاة تراويح في حياته. فكان هذا أول رمضان يصوم ويقوم قبل ثلاثين سنة. But this is the first mosque where I came for the month of Ramadan, and I prayed here for the tarawih for that month with um, with my friends, mainly Malaysian students. And this mosque has a real a real special place for me, a very emotional place still to come back after almost thirty years. Alhamdulillah. ما شاء الله كم مسجد شاركت في بناءه. I think over the last thirty years in about. Uh, 50 mosque projects, 5-0. MashaAllah. In, in all over, mainly in the UK. Okay, a few outside. MashaAllah, Tabarak Rahman. Had al Birak Killa can Kabl al Islam? I did the design the first mosque in Birmingham before I was a Muslim. And it was through that that I get, got to know about Islam and I got to know Muslims. And this is just over 30 years ago, a long time ago. The brother that first brought me to this mosque said, Islam is a very complete and beautiful uh, religion and a way of life. He said to me, don't be disappointed by the Muslims. At that time, I didn't understand what he meant, but um, I think, inshallah, more I understand now. Uh, if you meet a good practicing Muslim and you spend time with them, alhamdulillah, that is the way that you're going to learn about Islam, not from seeing what you watch on the TV or what you read in newspapers. أجمل اللحظات في حياة المهندس أكرم هي اللحظة التي يصلي فيها أول صلاة في المسجد الذي ساهم في بناءه. When we build a mosque, even when it is unfinished, and we pray the first prayer, sometimes just put some cardboard on the concrete in, the, in front of the mirab and pray that first prayer is a very, very special time. And if I can, I would like to be there and stand in the first row for the first Jummah in any mosque that we complete. When you build the mosque, that uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala builds a house for you in the paradise. The hadith means to me that, um, inshallah, you make effort to build, to build mosques, to create a place of worship. Um, I'm not a perfect person. I go astray, I make mistakes, and I go things wrong, do things wrong. But I always feel that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is pulling me back and bringing me back onto that straight path. And I think this is part of the reward for building mosques, that when I go astray, then I'm guided back to the straight path. <laughs> Yes, 
يكفيه ما يقدمه من إنجاز للإسلام من خلال بنائه للمساجد ولكنه لم يكتفي بذلك بل حرص أن يخصص وقتا للدعوة والاهتمام بمسلمي أوروبا I'm also the chairman of an organization called NEMA, which is the Native European Muslim Assembly. Um, we work there to support new Muslims throughout Europe. It's a very difficult time for when somebody first takes the Shahada and becomes a Muslim. They have very high expectations and sometimes the reality is very difficult. And we understand that maybe only 30% of people that take their Shahada either continue to practice their Islam or some leave altogether. And that's where they really need that help and support. So my work really with um, NIMA is sharing those experiences and trying to teach people how to look after and support new Muslims. Islam is for all time and it's a, a way of life that can be practiced anywhere in the world at any time. And I think really that, that is the message that um, firstly concentrate on yourself, don't worry about other people. Try and make your own ibadah to be right. فيه أسأل الله سبحانه وتعالى أن ياجرك ولا يحرمك الأجر قبل أن أودعك أريد أن أعرف أمنية أخونا أكرم. We have more than 20 million Muslims in Europe, but we don't work together. We don't communicate well for for many reasons. But the organisation is there to provide support and help for new Muslims in Europe for delivering mentor courses, which is teaching Muslims how to look after new Muslims. For the last year, we have no funding and we've had to stop. Our mental courses. So I really like to do that. That's my wish that we be able to continue with that program. في هذا اليوم الجميل وفي هذا اليوم اللي أخذنا فيه من وقتك سامحنا أن تتحقق لك هذه الأمنية عندك إخوانك بإذن الله عز وجل في موقع نون بإذن الله بإذن الله عز وجل تتحقق لك هذه الأمنية ونشاركك فيها الأجر بإذن الله عز وجل. بارك الله فيك. بارك الله فيك. بارك الله فيك. بارك الله. ربيعي أنس أيامي صديقي بوح أحلامي شفاء الهم والشقوى يداوي جرحي دامي ربيعي أنس أيامي صديقي بوح أحلامي شفاء الهم والشقوى يداوي جرحي دامي ولما تهت ثم أتيت لدرب كلام رب البيت وجدت النور والسلوى مع القرآن اهتديت مع القرآن اهتديت